What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and it's actually evening right now. It is Tuesday, September 22 and it's in the evening. I'm starting the video late in the day because tomorrow is going to be the main day that I film. But I wanted to film today because we're about to test the soybeans. He's out there right now. I showed you guys in the last video that little air hose thing that blows the soybeans into the combine. That's still in town getting worked on but we went and got the header today and are just starting without that piece because we don't really need it. I'm gonna be taking a truck out to the field right now for him to dump in if the soybeans are dry enough tonight, and I'm gonna run home and test the moisture. So I wanted to grab the camera, show you guys if the soybeans are ready, and if this is the beginning of soybean harvest. About to hop in the Peterbilt, start today's video, and hopefully the start of soybean harvest 2020 at Stoltz Farm Incorporated. Stay tuned to find out. Well, folks, talk about dry. Those soybeans are very, very ready. Word from the man is that we want them about 13, 13 and a half or under. You saw that test was 9.6 for the moisture. I even had to test it again because I didn't believe it, and it came out as 9.9. .9. So we're right around that 9 to 10 range, which is very, very ready. We're going to combine soybeans today and tomorrow, and that will be this video, I suppose. So. I'm gonna hop in the truck, head on down to the combine, get a little bit of time in tonight, and then pick up the camera again in the morning. Exciting stuff though, back harvesting. See you tomorrow. Hey, good morning everybody. It's the next day. Soybean harvest is a go. We did a little bit last night, probably finished about half a field, a third of a field, something like that. We filled up the Peterbilt truck. That is being taken to town right now as we speak. And I'm just kind of waiting for the Peterbilt truck to go by. We're gonna park it down at the field. I'm gonna go pick up my dad who's parking in the field. We're gonna go put some pickups around at the different fields we're gonna to do today. Kind of waiting for the combining to go a little bit later this morning. We have a part for the header to pick up in town, which I'll explain later about. We're just kind of waiting out the morning until we can start harvest. Uh, today's gonna to be all about soybean harvest. So sit back and enjoy and let's harvest some soybeans. here this is the field we were working on last night got 25 30 acres done last night or something like that here's the view of what we got done 
And I just have what's over here by the truck left. And you can see it off in the distance, but there's actually a divide of the field down there a little bit to the south that way. And that's because we use two different types of seed. So one of them is ready before the other one. So even though the field looks like it's all one, it's actually divided for types of seed. So we're gonna finish this type of seed, which may, maybe will fill the truck, maybe won't even fill the truck. And then we're gonna try the other one, see if it's dry enough. I have a moisture tester right here. I have to calibrate some things on this that have to do mainly with the yield. Bushels per acre isn't quite right. And the moisture is a little bit off. We're just gonna kind of subtract a little bit in our heads. So you saw me test the soybeans was like nine, nine. So roughly 10 and it's 12 on the monitor. So we're gonna test the other type of seed after I'm done with this part of the field that we know is dry. And if that reads 16, 15, something like that, we know that it's around 13 or less, which is what we want. Anything higher than that, and we gotta try a different field. So we have a lot of soybeans to do. Just across the road, actually, are a lot of soybeans that we know are dry. It'd just be nice to kind of continue down this field if possible. All right, so that's the scoop on what we're kind of doing with this field. Once again, we got this much done yesterday. That's what we have left, and there's a divide down there. I did want to show you guys a little bit about the combine header. This is the flex head. We're using this for the soybeans and it's pretty much the same as the straight cutting header except a little bit different of how we drive the combine. So likely you saw when we did the wheat that there was you know some stubble several inches high that we were kind of cutting and you got to make sure to stay above so you're not cutting rocks and things like that. Soybeans you are right down on the ground so you can see like there's nothing there as far as stubble is concerned. And that's because we're using the flex head and this just runs right on the ground. So this combine, the 9760, I'll show you how it runs after we start the next field, kind of how the controls work in there. But it's actually programmed to have like presets of, so there's like number one and number two and number one is just at the top where it is right now. Number two, I just hit the number two on the control and it drops all the way to the ground and controls itself so it stays on the ground level and isn't raising up and down as you go over hills and stuff like that. So it's hugging the ground pretty good to make sure you're getting all those soybeans which aren't very tall. So we're kind of gliding along with these pieces of plastic. You can see there's a little bit of give there. Just like the straight head, we're cutting with these blades right here, cutting off the soybeans, which look like that when they're coming off. Then these pods are getting busted open inside the combine and these are what we're harvesting, little soybeans. And the part that I mentioned that we need to go to town and get, my dad is currently going to town to pick up. It's not on the header right now, but we're gonna get started anyways, because it's not necessary, but it is nice to have. And that's this fan piece that we did in the last video. You saw that in the time-lapse where we put it on. This fan blows, comes through the tube, out, and then there's little fingers that drop down right here and blow the soybeans in, essentially, so this doesn't happen right here. So you're kind of building up here. That just blows all of these into the combine so they're harvested and we don't have any grain loss. So I'm gonna get started on this little piece. I'm going to run a quick time lapse as I do this little part. And then I'll show you guys the controls later on in the video. So be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss how the auto steer works, how the height control works and all that because we're using some of those cool features in the 9760 today. show you guys a little bit about this uh, height control and auto steer some of the cool features that we have here at the auto track in this 9760 John Deere combine and this is all preset right now so I'm just coming up to my row at my handle here I've got the little control module dumping the auger with this putting the auger out with that this is the height adjustment for the header itself this is the reel the thing spinning on top to knock in the crops but everything is preset on one, two, and three. So we're just using one and two right now. Number one, I have it set right now. This is just up in the air, so it's not cutting anything. Number two is gonna turn on the auto steer, just controlled by this monitor up here. And it's also gonna turn on the height adjusting. Like I said, we hug the ground nice and close. So 
it just pretty much sets it so it's going to be hugging the ground and adjusting as you go. So let's go. I'm going to go forward, hit number two, and then we'll see what happens. So you can see it lowers itself down, and we're going. And I'm not steering anything. No hands on the wheel. Now with the soybeans, we cut them at an angle. So you can see the angle that was planted is just like this. We cut them this way with the combine, which is what we have the auto sear set, set to. That's just essentially to ensure that we are cutting everything properly. If you just go right down the row, sometimes they'll pile up on one blade and not cut really well. Going kind of sideways on them just helps kind of split which blades are being used for the row. And that just helps cut a little bit better so we don't miss any of the soybeans. So that's kind of the name of the game with the soybeans, just trying to prevent waste since we're right on the ground. We will have this fan with the fingers blowing the soybeans in. And otherwise, combining soybeans is pretty nice because we use the auto steer, height adjusting. You can see some difference in the terrain. It's not a lot here in North Dakota, but there is some. And this is gonna be adjusting the height as we go. So we're coming to the end of the field right now. So we're gonna kind of coast right past the end, let some of these soybeans push themselves to the middle. Once it's relatively clear, we'll hit number one and the header goes up. And when you move the steering wheel, that turns off the auto steer. So right now we're off the auto steer here at the corner. You kind of have to line it up pretty well yourself as the combine driver, get the speed right, because that is something that we control. Then you hit the button, which I just did, and it sets itself. So you kind of have to line it up with this edge right here to make sure you're not going to get whipped around with the combine. This auto steer will kind of pull you pretty fast over to the, the line that's set if you're not careful. So line it up, get it ready, and then just hit the preset button. It's not done completely by itself, and we're here to kind of monitor things and manage the whole situation. But these features like the height adjustment, the auto steer, are very, very nice. I haven't been using the 9760 at all this year. I've just been using the 9610, which we aren't using for soybeans just yet. Folks, we're done with this field, at least this part of it. This is the part up ahead of us that's the different type of soybean, so we need to test that right now. Up here on the moisture monitor, I get the average moisture, and like I said, it's about three, maybe two points higher than what it actually is. But I also get the instant moisture, so I'm gonna be checking that number and making sure it's not too wet. We're looking at maybe under 16, even under 15 would be nice, so we're at it like a true 13. So I'll probably just take one or two swipes on this, just down the end and back to see what we're working with, and then we'll see what field we're gonna start on next. Getting stuff done. Well, those soybeans over there on the south side of this field that were the different type, they're a little bit wet. On my moisture monitor, I had anywhere, it was kind of fluctuating anywhere from 13% all the way up to 19%. It's a little bit too wet probably since it probably averaged around like 15 or 16 on there. I'm headed down the road, just getting up on the road now, to head over to the other soybeans, which are over there.
folks, so that field is done and I'm here at home. I was kind of waiting out at home here to see if the other part of the field was done. My dad was needing to change some things on the monitors and needed to fiddle with that himself. So I came in to take the truck in if he needed it, if the field was dry enough. And some of it was dry, some of it was a little green, kind of like the other field that I tested on the camera. So we're gonna kind of call it quits on the combining for tonight. It is too wet. The only other thing we're gonna do tonight is haul one truck into town that we loaded, the one out in the field right now that I was dumping into. And then also we're gonna get that air bar that blows the soybeans off of the sickle that we put on in the last video. It wasn't quite right, so we had to have it repaired, some metal work done to it. We're gonna put that on again tonight. I'm not gonna film that since we already did it and you already saw that. So I'll show you maybe tomorrow or the next video when that's actually on and completed. So you can kind of see that in action and what it actually does. But that's the end of another video. That's it for today, guys. A lot of soybean harvesting. We got a lot done, eight to five, pretty much, as far as harvesting is concerned and getting ready for it. Hopefully you guys liked the video today. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like Stoltz Jordan on Facebook, and let me know in the comments what type of videos you wanna see and what you're enjoying about the channel. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys in the next one.